Have you ever wondered why younger children have a harder time making good decisions? Maybe you have wondered what it is in the brain that contributes to depression, or you may even wonder how the brain is divided up at all. Hello, my name is Megan, and I'm going to answer some of these questions by explaining what the prefrontal cortex is. First, I will show you where the free prefrontal cortex is, and then I will explain its definition, how it develops over time, and how it is related to depression. The brain is an intricate and complicated machine. To make it easier to understand, it is separated into several lobes. Each lobe contributes to a specific purpose such as balance, motor function, talking, and every other action and thought that happens in our bodies. The prefrontal cortex is located in the frontal lobe. This is not only here in humans, however, it is here in many other animals. You can imagine it being above the eyes. While this helps us imagine where the prefrontal cortex is, it still leaves us with the question of what is the prefrontal cortex? The definition that can be found in a dictionary is as follows. The gray matter of the anterior part of the frontal lobe that is highly developed in humans and plays a role in re regulation of complex cognitive, emotional, and behavioral functioning. But what does this mean? Really, the prefrontal cortex is like the little devil and angel characters that sit upon your shoulders. It helps you make decisions, control your moods, contemplate future consequences, control impulses, and set goals. This brings us to ask the question, why do children have a harder time contemplating future consequences? By the time a child is six years old, about 95% of the brain has been formed. Because it is formed so quickly, however, the brain consolidates learning by allowing access to certain parts of the brain at a time. As we can see with this MRI scan, the prefrontal cortex area is not fully developed and ready for use until about the age of 20. But how is the pre prefrontal cortex related to depression? While depression reduces overall brain activity, the severity of depression has been correlated to specific declines in prefrontal cortex activity. People with depression have a harder time setting goals and being happy because the right half of the prefrontal cortex continues activity producing negative feelings that are not balanced by the positive feelings from the left half. In summary, we covered where the prefrontal cortex resides, what it does, and how it relates to decision making and depression. Thank you for listening and I hope you now have a better understanding of what the prefrontal cortex is.